Hi everyone, I'm Linda. I know you miss me very much. It's been a long time for me to and take videos with Honey because uh, we have the short vacation and, and I stay in the countryside for maybe one month. Oh, I'm lazy. I'm a lazy girl now. <laughs> yeah guys, so Linda is a lazy girl now just like she said. <laughs> so we're back today to get another amazing video and it's gonna be interesting because we want to talk about lifestyle in China for example at what age do the Chinese things of start getting a boy or a girlfriend at what age do they think of getting a job and what age do they think of like leaving their parents home and so on and so forth so we are here I think Linda knows more better than me because I'm a foreigner and she knows about China more so Linda I want to ask you I think we should start with um, like dating because I believe all of us always start to date before like having a job or stuff like that so I want to ask you like at what age in China do people think about like young boys and young girls start thinking about having a boyfriend or a girlfriend Maybe there are many types of dating. Mm. Uh, for, for girlfriend and boyfriend, yeah. if, we, if they uh, want to get married with each other, maybe like uh, in 22 or 20, between 22 to 25 years old. Like dating. if they're thinking about getting married? Uh, yeah. Between 22 to 25 years. Uh. Um, and okay. What about, because I want to believe that there are people who also have um, Puppy love Yeah, just puppy love like you call it At what age do you think they can start having that in China? 16 16? Mm -hmm. Are you sure a girl in China can have a boyfriend at it's the age not, of 16? We, we didn't call dating, we have, they, you know they are, they are young so they, they were shy They are many friends, they get mm. together to play outside to drink Okay, that one is still considered as dating. Yeah. Like just go to eat, uh, do but not nothing for... like intimacy, nothing like kissing. No, no nothing... sex. Yeah, yeah. No, maybe in sex, maybe in 22 to 25. They are young. Mm. They okay. Are shy. Now I want and to. The parents don't allow that. The parents don't allow that. Mm. But I want to believe, like in some other countries, um, some teenagers do that without the knowledge of the parents. Because they can have a, like me, okay, me for one, I used to have my girlfriend, but I don't tell my parents about that. Yeah. So what about in China? You mean date? Yeah, like in, in I mean like. In your opinion, date is sex. Have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, in my opinion, in my own opinion, when I talk about dating, yeah, I mean it entails all. It entails love making, kissing, touching, and sex, just like you say. So that's my own opinion. Mm, normally in China is in 20, 20 years old. 20 years. Mm. Wow. So what happens to, for example, me if I go and meet a girl at 16 years or 17 years old now and I start having love affairs with her? What just uh, to eat outside. To see the movies. That one is okay. Uh, no kiss, no mm -hmm. sexy. Okay. No sex. So if I go and have a girl now at the age of 16 and we have we kiss, we have no, sex, no. it's gonna be a problem to me. Yeah. The Chinese government can lock me up. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. So they're gonna consider that as rape. Mm. So guys, you get to you know <laughs> if you're coming to China. Please, if you see a girl at 16 years old, at the age of 16 years or 17 years old, don't pass to her because you're gonna be locked up. So I know I actually knew about this, but I just wanted to ask Linda, like Linda should confirm it. Because when I came to China, they told me that if you see a girl at the age of 16, 17, or even 18 years, don't try. But when you start seeing girls at the age of 20 above, then it's okay to like have a love affairs and to them to have affairs is really open to the parents they don't hide their relationship with the parents just like us back home in Africa you make your you have your love affairs your parents don't even know about it and so but here in China for example Linda you have a boyfriend right yeah and your parents know about him yeah so here in China before even uh, 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 you have a, a boyfriend you even consult 
to your parents you ask them they tell you, you if they like the guy or they don't just like that so their own type is is quite different so i want to ask you again like at what age then do uh, young boys and young girls start thinking of making money by themselves and living their own lives by themselves without depending on the parents after after they graduate from this their schools no after they like what level of schools university university yeah wow 22 at the age of 22 you must have graduated and you start thinking about being independent mm. so now are you independent yeah you make your own money by your own self mm. wow. i'm independent for five years for five years now yeah. when i was uh, 19 wow I to at the age of 19 did you graduate already from yeah. the university yeah wow that's great and then what did you what what were you like doing to make your own money you know, I have a car loan. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, buy, ma buy clothes. Mm -hmm. Buy food. Yeah. And I give 2,000 yuan for my, to my mother each, each month. Oh, you give 2,000 yuan to my mother. Wow, that's great. Then you're actually doing great. <laughs> yeah, thank but you. Your mother, your, mother no, your mother has money. I don't think she needs this money. She tell me that. She helped me to save that. Oh. When, I, when I want to get married with someone, um, she will give me maybe 10,000 yuan. 10,000 yuan? Uh, 10,000 yuan. And uh, mm. also with the car, give wow. it to me. I was thinking the money was above 10,000 yuan. I was thinking they would give you like 100,000 yuan. 100,000? Mm. No. Mm. I'm not the rich family. Mm. That's the normal family. Okay, okay. So some people from the rich family, they get more like oh wow wow, wow. then she'll give you a, a car too mm, if if your parent can't afford that they also they will give it to you mm. they have the ability okay i want to ask you again like i heard that in china for you to get married as a man as a guy you need to buy a house mm. and also have a car how true is that mm. it's true is most of most family they will you have to so what happens to people who don't have money to buy a house and it's a car? It's for me. My, birth, my boyfriend, uh, he don't have a house now. Yeah. So she won't say, will you, be, will you marry me? He thinks that he doesn't have the ability to have a family with me. Okay. Mm, get out of, get rid from mm, his family. Okay. Yeah. She, he can't as, a, as, as the important role. Mm. Me in the family, so he won't say, "Will you marry me?" Wow! So he's gonna wait until maybe when he has the money to like have uh, a house by. His... Yeah, in in China's um, family, most of the uh, parents will require the boy to buy a house. Wow! They can maybe they can pay a uh, part of it. It's okay. Maybe. Uh, Twenty thousand or thirty thousand yuan first. Wow, mm. that's great. So, guys, if you don't have money, you're gonna, you're not gonna marry it in China. You're not gonna get married because it is required for you to have a house and also a car. Like I used to wonder sometimes how young guys who don't have money get married in China because for us back there in Africa, ah, but once please wait. Uh, uh, I say most of the family just like this. Okay. For me, I'm not I'm not in the poor family, you know. Mm. I can earn money by myself. Okay. Now, I have a car. Mm. My family they can my my parents they can work. Mm. So uh, they will require the boy they yeah. have to some extent they have the ability to mm. mm, provide the better life for me. Okay. Mm. Oh, I need I some mm, Re poor family, mm -hmm. they just uh, how poor you are, how poor am I? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> the average. Oh my goodness, <laughs> wow! But so, at what age can that happen? Like, you live in your house, when do you intend to like leave your parents' house? What if you have a lot of money by your own self right now? You want to go and live in your own house with your mother, accept? I will buy a house. And, uh, uh, but if I didn't, if there are two situations, one is 
Mm. If I marry, mm. if I didn't marry, mm -hmm. so if I married, I will have my house, my family, my own mm -hmm. family. Yeah. Mm. If I didn't marry, I I can live with my parents, even though I bought a house. Oh, even it doesn't matter how old you are. Even at the age of thirty, you can still live with them. Yeah. Wow. But uh, if if uh, I want my my mother to help me take care of my uh, child, mm. I can call my mother to live with me. But in China, most of the families, the parents, they don't want to live with children. Yeah. They don't want to live with mm. children. Why? They have their own house. Okay. You, for, for me, I have uh, in, in my village, I have the big house. Mm. They think if they live in the village, the air is fresh. The mm. house is big. Mm -hmm. There are many mm, people and the relatives, they mm. live together. But mm -hmm. if they live in the city, they don't know each other. They can't talk with each other, only stay at home, only take care of the children, only, only to buy food, only to make, mm -hmm. only to cook, you know. So they prefer to live at the countryside. Mm. <laughs> so that they will be planting their tomatoes, planting their pepper and all. Yeah, for my grandmother. <laughs> yeah. Mm. What about fishing? They do fishing in your village? Mm, not, not, I didn't see many families to make fishing. It's wow. I, Leo told me when he went to uh, Lisa's countryside, Lisa's father went to, uh, Jeff, Jeff father went to the sea, caught some big fish like that. I think I would like to visit such places. So, some families, they have the lake, they have the land. Oh. It, it's different. They make the, the lakes by themselves? Uh, maybe it's the, um, divided to, to them or they, uh, help others to have the lake and then okay. they give money to them. Uh -huh. uh. Oh, I see. Wow. Wow. So guys, that's just lifestyle in China. Like youths here, I really admire sometimes the life here in China because at a certain level, like very early, sometimes 22, you can you see the kind of cars that girls and boys at the age of 22 are driving is so amazing. But it's quite different with us back there because sometimes you even get to the age of 30, you don't even think about a house, you don't even think about owning a car or whatsoever. But here it's quite different. People get independent so early, like so early. You see like Linda, she has a car already. She's thinking of build, uh, buying a house already. Like, it's quite nice. And Linda is a small girl that I'm even older than her. You know, sometimes it's, <laughs> it's painful. One day I'm gonna just take Linda. Where, where are your car keys? Oh, I'll seize it, bag. I'll seize it from you. I put it in my pocket. I go, <laughs> with, I go with it to Cameroon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's just lifestyle in China. Linda, do you have any other thing to tell them again? Life is not easy. Life is not Work easy. It's not easy. Come on, everyone. <laughs> yeah, Jayo. Yeah. Jayo means courage. Come on. Mm. So, guys, thanks for watching this video to the end. I hope you've learned something. If not of anything, then you have learned that you cannot have a girl at the age of 16 here in China. <laughs> You cannot uh, marry if you don't really like have money to like buy a house, car, or whatever, and so many other things. So thanks for watching to the end. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And we're gonna see you in our next video. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye.